To the love of my life, Mackenzie, I love you. The next time you hear these words, they will be said as your husband. Not only do I get to say this to you in this very special moment, I get to show you, day in and day out, the true meaning of what love is for the rest of our lives. Today marks a memorable moment in our lives that we will forever play a special part in our hearts. We have accepted to love each other unconditionally in front of all of those around us. Our journey as husband and wife is about to begin. To us, it's a new beginning, one that we can share, feel full of new memories and experience with one another. I am beyond excited for this moment and am proud to see the woman you have become. You are now building a life with me. I promise to stand by you through all the ups and downs and support each other no matter what curveballs life throws at us. We are building a life and a family together and I'm excited to see what the future holds. I love you for eternity. Mackenzie Kathleen Gazdick. Love your husband. Sorry, I might be a little nervous. Um, my public speaking teacher always taught me, hey, whenever you go give a speech, just make sure you close your eyes and imagine the crowd naked. Having said that, ladies looking good tonight. Johnny, it's not that cold in here, buddy. I use four words to describe Johnny. He's adventurous. He's a damn hard worker, and he finishes everything he starts. Mackenzie, if I use four of your words to describe you, I'd say you're absolutely kind. You have the patience of an angel. I think anybody would deal with Johnny. You're very easygoing, and you're absolutely gorgeous. So I'm excited to be here tonight. I wish both Mackenzie and Johnny the very happy marriage. I know it will be. I trust that They'll be able to overcome any obstacle that gets in their way. Through thick and thin, they'll be able to hand it the right way. I'm very proud of you guys. Everybody enjoy the wedding. Have fun. If you have something in your hand, if we could just raise a glass. This is to the new Mr. and Mrs. Gazik, Johnny and Mackenzie. Mackenzie, I couldn't be more proud of you, sweetheart. You, you are a go-getter. A determined young lady that, um... You've been raised right. Look, uh, and I couldn't be happier that you found John. I remember Nike's Ferry days, and they were young, and I don't even know what Gazdick boy it was because they're all just downright handsome. And uh, I remember looking at my wife, and I said, man, we have got to get McKenzie to meet one of those Gazdick boys. <laughs> they were just handsome. Handsome. Look at them now. I don't know what happened. <laughs> um, genetics took them off worse, but they were handsome. They were handsome as as uh, young young kids. But look where we are today. It's crazy how life works out. But uh, the more I know about John, they they have the same hobbies. They've got that same ambition in life. Uh, they continually want more, and they work their tails off to achieve it. I will wrap it up by saying I love all of you. So thank you for coming and uh, enjoy your evening. As a third party spectator to their developing love, it is extremely clear that the two of them represent a perfect pairing because each of them complements the other so well. They balance one another. And while each of them are tremendous individuals on their own, together they are even better. And being better together as a team, a unit, and partners in crime is what has been many years in the making and ultimately leads us to being here today, witnessing their commitment to one another in front of those they love most. Mackenzie and John, let me remind you that what you vow today must be renewed tomorrow, the next, and each day forward. Seeing the two of you together, I can tell that you both have found each other, your person. You two are truly meant to be together, and I can't wait to see all the incredible things you guys accomplish as a couple. Mackenzie, 
I am so lucky to call you my best friend. You have been there for me through thick and thin, and I am so happy that you have found someone that loves you unconditionally but challenges you. Johnny is an amazing partner, and I know that he will always be there for you no matter what. John, you're like the older brother I never had. You're always looking out for me, and I'm so glad Mackenzie found you. You compliment her in the best ways. The love you have for her is truly inspiring, and you bring out the best in her. I am so happy you both found each other, and I cannot wait for all the memories you will create together. So, let's raise a glass to the happy couple. May your love continue to grow stronger with each passing day. Congratulations, and cannibals! John, to the man I never knew I needed. Thank you for challenging me in ways I never knew I needed to be challenged. Thank you for introducing me to things I never had the passion about until I met you. You bring so much excitement and joy into my life every single day, and this joy is something I don't think I would have had without you there. I am beyond excited for this next chapter of my life to start with you. Thank you for supporting in me, believing in me, and challenging me in every way possible. The life we have built thus far is beautiful, but I absolutely cannot wait for these next several years of our lives because they're going to look absolutely amazing. I love you now more than ever, but I think tomorrow I'll love you even more. To the bride and groom, I want to say that I am so happy for both of you. You have found your perfect match, and I know you'll have a lifetime of happiness together. A bit of advice I would like to offer Remember to always communicate to each other, to support each other through good times and bad, and to never forget why you fell in love in the first place. Marriage is a partnership and it takes work to make it successful. But with love, patience, and a sense of humor, you can get through anything. To overcome the obstacles that come your way I have no doubt you will live a long, happy life together. Congratulations, you two. McKeezy and John. I've known the newlyweds since we were little, and something I've always admired about Kinsey is how grounded, motivated, and intelligent she is. And believe me, these are all needed qualities, as every once in a while, John's head can get in the clouds, and she knows just how to bring him back down to earth. But seriously though, Johnny is a dreamer, and I mean that in the best possible way. He always has a ton of projects going on, he's a terrific friend, and he's always wanted the most he could possibly get out of life. And let me tell you, he's found that all and more up with Kenzie. I'd like to summarize all of the awesome things about John that Kenzie will get to look forward to in marriage. So number one, um, she'll never be without a good laugh. As I'm sure you noticed, his one-liners are endless. Number two, she'll always have a protector. Number three, she'll be receiving the best in-house maid. If anyone was wondering why I say this, uh, you can quite literally eat off of his floors. They're that clean. Lastly, she'll not only be getting a husband, but she'll be getting the bestest friend anyone could ever ask for. So cheers to the happy couple. I can't wait to see where this next journey takes you both. And I'm so thankful for both of your friendships. And yeah, I wish you all the happiness and more. So cheers, raise a glass, everyone. From this day forward, you know, you have to uh, work at that and put it in the fire and it'll get hot. And you know, there's gonna be some sparks flying. 
But just remember, you got to put a little flux on there, and that'll, that'll save everything, right? He's bring it out, and the key point is, John, don't hammer too hard. <laughs> when you start, once, you gotta just be a little gel once in a while. You can't beat the hell out of it. Okay? Otherwise, you're gonna break that well. Yeah. You just be real gentle, and then that well will come together. can declare yourselves married. You have begun it here today in speaking your vows before your family and friends, and you will do it again in the days and years to come, standing by each other, sharing the highs and lows of life. And in front of all these witnesses, and by the grace of God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs>